Ever wondered if a diet of purely meat can turn you into a muscle machine? Welcome to the world of the carnivore diet, where the menu is as simple as it gets. Meat, meat, and more meat. This diet is gaining traction quicker than a cheetah on a gazelle, and it's not hard to see why. Who wouldn't want to feast on juicy steaks and crispy bacon all day? But here's the beef. Can you really build muscle on a diet that's as restrictive as a lion's dinner plate? Well, hold on to your T-bone steak, because we are about to dive deep into the juicy, marbled world of the carnivore diet. We'll slice through the myths, strip down the facts, and get to the meat of the matter. So, grab your steak knife and put on your butcher's apron because this video will sink its teeth into the meaty question of building muscle on the carnivore diet. So, what's the beef with the carnivore diet? Let's chew on the pros and cons. First, the carnivore diet, as the name suggests, is all about the meat. It's a diet that would make a T-Rex proud. And it's not just any meat. We're talking high-quality, grass-fed, organic mutton, beef, pork, fish, and sometimes eggs. It's a diet that's all about protein, protein, and more protein. Now let's talk about some of the potential benefits. Weight loss, for one. With the carnivore diet, you're consuming high amounts of protein, which can keep you feeling full for longer. This can help you eat less and potentially shed some pounds. Another potential benefit is improved blood sugar control. When you're eating only meat, you're essentially cutting out carbohydrates. This could potentially lead to lower blood sugar levels which can be beneficial for people with diabetes. But wait, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. There are some potential downsides to consider, for example, nutritional deficiencies. When you're eating only meat, you're missing out on a whole lot of nutrients that you can get from fruits, vegetables, and grains. This could potentially lead to deficiencies in vitamins and minerals, which could negatively impact your health. Then, there's the potential for social limitations. Imagine going to a friend's birthday party, and all they're serving is cake and chips. Or going on a date to an Italian restaurant and having to say, no pasta for me thanks I'll just have the steak. Again. Lastly, there could be potential digestive issues. Our bodies are used to a varied diet and suddenly switching to eating only meat could potentially throw your digestive system out of whack. So, as with any diet, the carnivore diet comes with its own set of steak. I mean steaks. It's essential to weigh these carefully before deciding to go full carnivore. After all, it's not just about looking good, but also about feeling good and staying healthy. And remember, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fitness content. Now let's flex some brain muscles and delve into the science of muscle building. You might think that muscle growth is all about pumping iron, but it's a lot more nuanced than that. At the heart of muscle growth is a process called protein synthesis. Imagine your body as a construction site and proteins as the bricks. Your body is continuously breaking down and rebuilding these protein bricks in a process called protein turnover. When you exercise, especially resistance training, you're essentially causing micro tears in your muscle fibers. These tears signal your body to rebuild and reinforce the muscle, making it stronger and bigger over time. But to do this, your body needs a steady supply of new bricks or proteins. Now, proteins are made up of building blocks called amino acids. There are 22 amino acids in total, nine of which are essential, meaning your body can't produce them on its own. You need to get them from your diet. And here's where the carnivore diet shines. Animal protein sources such as meat and fish contain all nine essential amino acids. These are known as complete proteins. So on a carnivore diet, you're getting a high intake of complete proteins, which in theory could support muscle growth. But wait a minute, we're not done yet. While proteins are the stars of the show, other nutrients like carbohydrates and healthy fats play supporting roles. Carbohydrates, for example, are the body's preferred source of energy. When you're lifting weights or doing high-intensity exercises, your body taps into stored carbohydrates, known as glycogen, for fuel. After your workout, carbs help replenish these glycogen stores, aiding in recovery. Healthy fats, on the other hand, are essential for hormone production, including testosterone, which plays a key role in muscle growth. So to build muscle, we need protein and exercise. But can a carnivore diet provide all we need? Let's find out next. Is the carnivore diet the secret sauce to building muscles? Let's weigh in. The carnivore diet is a meat lover's paradise. From juicy steaks to succulent salmon, it's all on the menu. But does this diet hold the key to building muscle? Well, it's not as straightforward as it might seem. First off, let's consider the anecdotal evidence. There are plenty of stories floating around about individuals who have achieved impressive muscle gains while following the carnivore diet. These individuals claim that the high protein intake provided by the diet, combined with regular exercise, 
has allowed them to pack on lean muscle mass. The carnivore diet also naturally eliminates many processed foods, which some believe can lead to decreased inflammation in the body. This potential reduction in inflammation could theoretically aid in muscle recovery and growth, although research in this area is limited. But what about the limitations? Well, the carnivore diet is pretty restrictive, which can make it challenging to meet all your micronutrient needs. Sure, meat and fish are packed with proteins and certain vitamins, but they don't provide all the nutrients your body needs to function optimally. This means you may need to rely on supplements to fill in the gaps, which isn't ideal. Then there's the issue of carbohydrates. The carnivore diet is a low-carb diet by nature which means it doesn't provide readily available carbohydrates to replenish muscle glycogen stores after training. This could potentially affect your performance and recovery, but let's not forget everyone's body responds differently to different diets, what works for one person might not work for another, some people might thrive on the carnivore diet and see great muscle gains while others might struggle, it's all about finding what works best for your individual needs and goals. So, can you build muscle on the carnivore diet? The answer seems to be a resounding maybe. While the diet does provide plenty of protein which is essential for muscle growth, it lacks certain nutrients and may not provide enough carbohydrates for optimal performance and recovery. But remember, building muscle isn't just about what you eat, it's also about how you train, how much you sleep, and a host of other factors. Diet is just one piece of the puzzle. So, gaining muscle on a carnivore diet might be possible but it's not a piece of steak or cake. It's important to approach it with a realistic mindset, understanding the potential challenges and limitations. And as always it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian before making any major changes to your diet, especially if you have specific health or fitness goals in mind. Before you start eyeing that steak, there are a few things to consider. While the carnivore diet might seem like a meat lover's dream come true, it's important to remember that each of us is unique. Our bodies respond differently to diets, and what works for one person may not work for another. The carnivore diet is inherently restrictive, focusing almost exclusively on animal products. This restriction can potentially lead to deficiencies in certain micronutrients that are abundant in plant foods. So, if you're considering this diet it's essential to be mindful of your nutritional intake. Health risks are another important consideration. Some research suggests that a diet high in red and processed meats could increase the risk of certain health conditions, such as heart disease and certain types of cancer. However, it's essential to note that more research is needed in this area, particularly regarding the long-term effects of the carnivore diet. Perhaps one of the most crucial considerations is sustainability. Can you see yourself eating only meat, fish and eggs for the foreseeable future? While some people might find this diet appealing, others may find it difficult to stick to in the long run. If you're an athlete or bodybuilder, you have specific dietary needs to support your training and recovery. The carnivore diet's high protein content can support muscle growth, but its lack of carbs could potentially impact your performance and recovery. That's why it's so important to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian before starting the carnivore diet, or any diet for that matter. They can provide personalized advice taking into account your individual needs, lifestyle, and goals. Remember, any diet should be a personal fit, not a one-size-fits-all solution. The key to successful dieting and muscle building isn't just about what you eat, but how you eat it. A balanced approach that prioritizes overall health and sustainability will always be a winning strategy in the long run. So keep these considerations in mind as you navigate your journey towards muscle gain and optimal health. So can you turn into a muscle-bound beast on a carnivore diet? Maybe, but it's not without its challenges. The carnivore diet's high protein intake might make it seem like a bodybuilder's dream, but remember, there's more to muscle building than meat. Essential nutrients, muscle recovery, and overall health need to be factored in. Some individuals have reported success with muscle growth this diet but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. The lack of readily available carbohydrates and potential micronutrient deficiencies could pose limitations. And let's not forget the potential risks of such a restrictive diet on your overall health and long-term sustainability. A balanced approach that prioritizes your health is always a good idea. And before you jump into the world of carnivore dieting, especially if you're an athlete with specific goals, do consult a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian for personalized advice. Now that we've chewed the fat on the carnivore diet and muscle building, don't forget to subscribe for more juicy fitness content and leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, 
make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more informative and engaging fitness content. Your support means a lot to us.